Hi, welcome to our first Canyonside chat. Uh, I'm Senator Dave Bradley, uh, Senate Minority Leader, and we're interviewing today uh, one of our best assets in our caucus, uh, Senator Martin Quesada. Sen um, Senator Quesada is an attorney, and we often rely on his expertise on various issues, and one of those issues that we're going to talk about today is voter suppression, and particularly some of the, uh, a bill that is about to hit our Senate floor. So welcome, Senator Quesada, to the first Canyon Side Chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Senator Bradley. It's great to be here. Um, our, the bill that we're referred to is Senate uh, Bill 1046. Uh, can you briefly talk about what would it do? Sure. Uh, Senate Bill 1046 is a bill that was sponsored by uh, Senator Michelle Eugenti Rita. She's a Republican. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a bill basically that, that's uh, suppressing our vote uh, and disenfranchising a lot of Arizona voters. Uh, so what the bill would do specifically is uh, it would uh, deny voters the opportunity to drop off their ballot if they receive a ballot by mail at the polling place. Um, and so a lot of voters do that. They, they receive their ballot in the mail, they like to take their time researching the candidates, deciding how they're going to vote, uh, and they wait up until the last minute of voting day so they can go to the polling place and drop off their ballot to make sure it gets counted. This bill would deny them that opportunity and force them to put the ballot back into the mail in order for it to be counted. Uh, and in some cases it would actually even require uh, for voters that show up at uh, the polling place to vote a provisional ballot uh, rather than uh, turn their ballot in. In this last election, how many folks uh, turned in an early ballot on election day? Well, there's, this is actually a lot of people that are taking advantage of this opportunity. There was over a quarter of a million people in Arizona that turned in their ballots on election day. And, and why do the supporters of this bill think it's necessary? What it was? Well, the, uh, the senator gave some, uh, s some fairly weak uh, rationales for this bill. Uh, the biggest one she talked about was uh, the amount of time that it takes to count the votes. Uh, so she thinks this is actually going to speed up the process to count the votes. Uh, but that's actually uh, completely false. Uh, the, the time it took to count the votes in 2018 was no longer than it had been in 2016, 2014, or years, or years prior to that. Uh, it's always the same amount of time that it takes. And if anything, this process might actually uh, extend the amount of time uh, that it would uh, take to count votes because of the way that these votes uh, would be processed through the counties, uh, it would actually extend that amount of time. Another rationale that she gave was uh, that it would reduce cost uh, for the county. But again, uh, that, that kind of flies in the face of logic because what would actually happen is uh, because more people were showing up at the polls uh, on election day with their ballots, there would be longer lines uh, that would require more poll workers, which requires more people to be hired, more people to be trained, uh, and, and, more, and more polling places to have to be opened. Uh, so this could actually increase the amount of cost uh, to run our elections and delay the amount of time it would, it would take to count those ballots. So it kind of flies in the face of both of her rationales. So we don't like to always go to people's intent here, but what do you what would you hypothesize some of the intention behind this bill is? Right. So, I mean, I, I don't know the senator myself, so I can't speak to her intentions, mm -hmm. but we can look at history. We can look at the record uh, this senator and, and, and members of the Republican caucus have set uh, in some of the bills that they've introduced in the past. Uh, we've seen bills that prohibit uh, uh, neighbors from helping neighbors uh, that are incapacitated from, from picking up their ballots and turning them in and making sure they get counted. Uh, we've seen uh, voter ID requirements and, and more in increased voter ID requirements. Uh, we've seen uh, eliminations of, of the ability to vote uh, via emergency voting centers. Um, there's been all sorts of barriers that have, put in, that have been put into place uh, by the Republican caucus over the years that have, uh, th that, that the, the end result is that less people are voting, uh, less people have the ability to vote, and then when they do vote, it's a very difficult process. So what that ends up, what that ends up doing is really disenfranchising uh, certain communities in the state of Arizona uh, who don't have access to transportation, who don't have uh, uh, you know, the ability to, to, to get to a polling place or vote the way that the Republicans want them to vote. And so what's really happening is it's just, uh, it, it's limiting uh, whose voice is actually going to be able to count uh, in our elections process. And uh, I think that the, the most ironic part about that is that in this bill in particular, it's going to impact Republican voters just as much, if not more, than Democratic voters in, in her own district. So it seems that they are willing to sacrifice even Republican votes if they are willing to sacrifice more Democratic votes as well. Mm -hmm. And so that seems to be what's happening here. It's, it's a limit, limit of who is able to cast a, uh, a ballot and have their voice heard. 
And so what can folks or our constituents and Arizonans do to stop this or to impact it? Yeah, absolutely. I think the number one thing is to reach out uh, to, to the sponsor now. Uh, tell her you don't support these bills. Reach out to your own elected officials, uh, whoever your senators and representatives are. Tell them uh, to, to vote against this bill. Uh, and, and, and if this bill does make it out of the legislature and up to the governor's office, you want to call his office as well and tell him that, that your vote is, is valuable, um, whether you're a Democrat, independent, or Republican, uh, and you want, your, you want to be able to cast your vote uh, in whichever way that you choose to be able to cast it. Uh, and that means if you want to drop it off on election day, you should be able to do that. All right. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you, Senator. Um, hopefully this will be one of many uh, Canyon Side Chats that we'll be having over the next, uh, during the session, and thanks for tuning in.